Greetings, my fellow space noids. Once again, we are on the road, road to, to review. review. In today's video, we're going to be making Darth Malgus from Star Wars The Old Republic. This is the old 3-inch figure that came out, one of the few Old Republic figures that ever came out, uh, besides the uh, Republic Trooper figure. And um, we'll be making Darth Malgus out of a knockoff Black Series Darth Vader. Um, the reason why I'm doing this is because I recently, if you've seen my unboxing, got a Darth Vader model kit, which uh, looks a lot better than my knockoff, obviously. And I see the similarities, of course, um, of Darth Malgus and Darth Vader, so I thought this would be a good opportunity for me to make a 6-inch Darth Malgus. So what I've done is I have removed all of the layers of cloth. We have the cloth cape from Darth Vader. My squeaky chair not included. We have the uh, cod piece and belt removed. We have the uh, little slip-on thing that goes around him. His helmet's been removed, of course. And now I think we're ready to go ahead and mod this guy and make him look more like Darth Malgus from Knights of the Old Republic. So I'm still debating if I'm going to keep this piece on and mold on top of it um, or if I'm going to go ahead and rip it off and start a new piece. I'm, of course, I'm going to have to trim this down to make a new face mask, uh, get rid of this uh, console here. Uh, the boots... Um, I might be able to kind of keep them the same and just kind of add to them a little bit. Um, but of course we'll be adding a lot of different armor plating, gauntlets, gloves. Um, I might even try and do the back armor that he has. And we'll be modifying the lightsaber to look more like Darth Malgus's uh, pincer lightsaber that he has here. So I think this will be a lot of fun. Um, and I hope you stay tuned on this road to review. And we'll see how it goes. Alright, so continuing on what I've done. Excuse me while I eat my ice cream. Is gone on and basically dremeled out that uh, center console and just scribed some basic lines in there to kind of mimic uh, what would have been there if that was never there in the first place. It's very soft right here, so I assume that this is very thin at this point. Um, I might even end up cutting that out and just filling that in with epoxy to be easier for me to sculpt lines. But uh, besides that, I've ripped off the um, cowl. I don't, we're not going to use this. And um, gone in and started cutting off the very front of his face mask so we can put the new mask. And then the other thing I did was sand down the top of his head so he doesn't have the Darth Vader scars. Because while Darth Malgus is also injured like Darth Vader, uh, Darth Vader has very specific scars and Darth Malgus does not have scars on the top of his head. It's really his jaw in the front of his face that gets damaged. So... Um, that's why we had to remove that. So, I'm going to start sculpting the chest piece, I think. That's the main piece, I feel like, for Darth Malgus, is that chest piece. And if that goes well, then um, hopefully everything else will fall into place. Alright guys, so continuing on, I've done some more work. Done the, uh, worked on the chest quite a bit. Uh, I made the shoulders out of uh, some plastic uh, plot plate. Put some uh, epoxy over that, sculpted the detail in. And I just started working on the face mask here. Um, so I have my little reference over here. Darth Malgus himself. And my guy. I think it's coming out pretty good. Um, started working on the lightsaber a little bit. Uh, just adding some uh, epoxy over there to make the uh, little pincers like his lightsaber. If I could find the one that I have. Probably not. It's around here somewhere. Here's mini Darth Malgus. Uh, I think it's coming out pretty good. I'm going to add some uh, more detail to the face mask and uh, make the cowl, make some more detail on the shoulder, and then I'll start putting the rest of these little uh, ribbed pieces that he has um, all over his armor on the rest of his body and a belt. And uh, I think that's it once that's done. I'm, oh, yeah, he has gauntlets and stuff I have to craft. Or sculpt, rather, and craft. Um, so yeah, but it's coming out pretty good so far. Uh, the chest was definitely the hardest part. Um, I still have to go in and kind of sand that and fill in some spaces. Uh, because uh, I sculpted this piece on top. Originally, I tried to sculpt that into the first uh, attempt, but it didn't look good. So I went and I, uh, I made uh, another piece on top. So I have to fill in these little lines from the old one. Um, but other than that, it's coming out a lot better than it did. 
Um, the face mask is alright. I'm going to add on to the front of this a little bit. Um, so I don't like the fact that it's like super flat like that. So I'm going to bring it out just a little bit. Um, and hopefully that looks good. Alright guys, so here's a further continuation on my Darth Malgus. Um, I still have to go ahead and uh, do some more sanding. But I added some more bits to the uh, face mask. There we go. Um, still have some refining to do as you can see. Um, it's actually pretty clear here in the video uh, what I have to do to make this complete. And um, added the extra bits on the shoulders. Started adding the uh, waistband area, the belt, cod piece, um, all that good stuff. And I think it's coming out pretty good actually. Um, so I'm excited to see how this is going to look. Alright, hey guys, so continuing on um, with my Darth Malgus here. Um, I've added some more uh, putty on the boots. I'm working on the gauntlets right now, stuff to refine that a little bit. Um, it's kind of rough. Um, and he's just coming out really well. Um, but I've been debating, you know, how am I going to go ahead and um, do the hood here? I'm not very good with fabrics and making hoods. And then I saw this. I have the it's a knockoff Black Series uh, Darth Maul hood that came with the one I have. And I'm not going to be using this. So I was thinking, what if... What if I cut around this just for the hood bit and then see if that can go over the uh, Darth Malgus here and then we'll have the cape behind that and maybe that'll work. So let's try that and see what happens. Alright guys, so I'm testing this out, trying to get a test fit here. I think it's not too bad really. I think um, inside the hood there's this little square bit here. And I'm probably going to have to go and I'm going to sand that down with a, uh, my drum and see if that doesn't help uh, fit a little bit better. But it's not, it's not too bad. Not too bad at all, I think. Once it's painted and everything, and we'll see a better idea of how it looks. Um, so we'll continue on and see what happens. Alright guys, it's taken me a bit longer than I wanted to. I know for you guys, this is just one video. For me, this has been going on for... I don't know, a month or so now, maybe longer. I don't even know when did I start this project. But Darth Malgus is finally all sculpted and ready for paint. And hopefully, he comes out good. What I'm going to do is uh, mask off the skin part that's showing out of the mask and uh, use a Mr. Uh, Mr. I can't think of what I'm using. Holy crap. Hold on one second, please. Yes, I know, there's a lot of boxes around. Destiny! I will be using... I will be using... Mr. Surfacer, that's what it is. I have not tried Mr. Surfacer since I bought it, so I'm going to try it out, because... Why not? Something fell. Jeez, holy crap. Alright, um, we're going to mask the head off, spray him, start painting him, see how it works. Let's do it! Alright guys, we're here at the end of the road to review. And um, just wanted to leave you with this. I started base painting Darth Malgus. I painted his uh, head a bit. Started painting in the uh, yellow eyes. And um, just getting that gunmetal there um, on the metal plating of the figure. And of course, he does have a lot of black in certain areas. And some certain different versions of him, like on the side sideshow version and the in-game armor and the cutscenes, it's like the black on his armor is there or not there or it's in certain places and not other places so I need to go ahead and really figure out how I want to do this Darth Malgus um, so this will be the end of the road to review if you want to see the final product I gotta continue doing some painting some more uh, detail work on it stick tuned for the full review that will be coming out shortly I really enjoyed making this and hopefully it comes out well Thank you all for supporting the channel. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Share the video around, please. It helps out the channel greatly. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, may the force be with you, and Zeke Zeon.